shit, girl. Don't call me sis, cause I'm not your sister. You really need to come and get your mister. I'm so excited. You guys, literally, welcome back to a weekly vlog video. Welcome back to another video. What, what is my intro? What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Jasmine Dustin. If you're new here, if you're returning, hey, girl, hey, what's up, what's good, what's goody? We are back with a new video. I haven't done a weekly vlog video in literally months. I went to New York. You guys, your girl is in Brooklyn. Now I'm walking to Kiara CBD's 420 event that's going on today. Surprising my dad too, my mom was so shocked. It's my first time being at Kiara. Ah! Hello. So cute. Oh my gosh. This is so this is so beautiful. So this is my dad and his three business partners, one of them being my stepmom. So the four of them own this CBD black owned store right on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. Like and it's gorgeous! Oh look at the logo on the side of the wall. That's so cute. It's on the ground so uh-huh. So back there. This with, is huge. Yeah, with a red ends. We're gonna have a black gate. For like that's like the doggy park area. Okay. And then all of this is gonna be like artificial turf. Like a seating area for like Wi-Fi for doggy moms and dads to hang out and have some coffee. That's smoke so a little. cool. Yeah, we'll be working on it. it. Should be up and running by the summertime. That's amazing! Came back. Um, I just went to go see family like literally I just went to go see my family and like pop up on them and surprise them And that was really cute. I'm definitely still hungover like this is hungover Jasmine I didn't wear any makeup last night, which was like amazing because I didn't have to come home and take it off uh, But I went out and I had so much fun. I was celebrating my friend's birthday literally all weekend I've took a little break from vlogging, but we're back you know, like I'm really trying to just be my focus, my main focus. And then of course I got my baby button. He's getting so big. He's about to be six months, so been being a mommy too. Uh dwug mommy. I have to return some food that I bought for Benson that he didn't end up liking. Um I'm gonna exchange it for something else that I know that he likes. I was doing a lot yesterday. Yesterday was fun, child. I was with my friend Danae. It was outside, chill. So if you guys are excited for the weekly vlog, if you missed the weekly vlogs, the vloggy vlogs, then make sure you leave that down. Comment that down below if you miss them. I know I miss them. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up and go get this food. I'm outside of Chick-fil-A waiting on my food to be ready honestly i don't know why i didn't place the order before i left the house it's actually mad because now i've got to wait some more and my stomach is just grumbling because i'm just so hungry um yeah yeah and look at this little look at this little dude this is how he just, he likes to sit. He likes to sit across the center console with his paws on my lap. He likes sticking his head out the window. We look like twins. Papa, you look like mommy, baby. Or mommy looks like you, Papa. When I put this wig on, he was like barking at me at first because he didn't recognize me. He was like, who is this person? That's not my mom. But then he, when I started talking to him, that's when he realized, he was like, oh, yeah, that is her. That is my mommy. It's the way I bought a car mount and it broke. So, <laughs> I 
just have my camera on my dashboard. I obviously can't drive like this, but we bought the goods. I bought my Chick-fil-A and I've got my drink. I didn't realize I ordered such a small drink. Yes, sir. And we got Benson. Literally just won't well, leave me alone. Oh my god, not you driving up the one way. Girl. Mmm. I've just got a spicy chicken deluxe meal with a large fry. Excuse me. Can I get some personal space, please? <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell you guys. Benson lost his first tooth. <laughs> it was so precious. Like we just we woke up. It was like last week. Woke up and I go in the bathroom, brush my teeth. And he's like jumping on me and like meow, meow, meow. like his little morning stretch that he does where he like stretches his little paws and legs on me. And then I just heard like the faintest little thing hit the floor, like drop and hit the floor. Like it sounded so like if I wasn't paying attention in that second, I would have missed it and probably never noticed. But it was like silent in my apartment and I just heard the little tooth drop and hit the floor. And I went and I picked it up and it was his little baby tooth in right in the front. And the next one already um, started growing in. He already has a tooth that replaced it. My baby, you're growing up, Papa. You're not gonna be a baby anymore, Papa. Yeah, it's the way I needed this. Like, I feel life coming back into my body and it's because there was nothing in there. It's me telling you guys, that I was gonna exchange his food and forgetting to bring the food. So now I have to go back home, pick that up. I don't know what it is today, but this shit is busting. And I need to get my reusable bags so I can go to the supermarket. I just went to Just Food for Dogs, where her. I just went and exchanged the flavor he didn't like for the flavors that he does like. Um, I wanna see if I could get him groomed today. We're already in the car, so I'm like, let's go. We're just in the car today, I guess. Oh my God, it's so hot. Ugh. The temperature has just gotten more and more disgusting as the day has gone on. I just got to Trader Josie's. I can't vlog in there, I already know I can because I've tried before and they, they tell me to put my camera away. I did stop at the beauty supply store, so I attempted to go and get Benson's haircut today, but they didn't have any availability, so I had to make an appointment for Saturday, which I kind of already expected, so that's what I did. And then I stopped at the beauty supply store. I found a black-owned beauty supply store in downtown LA, on like near Santiali, literally like all, right off of Santiali. It's in Santi, basically, and it's black-owned. And the owner was in there and I was talking to him and I was like, wow, congratulations, this is amazing. And it looks really cute. And he said that he has booths um, that are like commission based for braiders. He's looking for braiders. So if you're in LA, I'm gonna just put his Instagram and the location of the beauty supply store in the description box. But And now I'm at Trader Josie's and I'm not gonna be able to vlog, but I got my reusable bag. So let's go get some groceries per. You guys, so I just got home. Look at how I be. This is how I was food shopping with Benson. He just be chilling, chef. He just be chilling with his mama. Yeah, he wants to get out though. Oh my God. Ah! <sighs> A lot to unpack. He's so tired. He's like, dang, you had me out all day. All day. You know when your mom used to, when you were younger, you, your mom would be like, I'm going to run errands, you coming with me? And you would go, thinking you would get something, but you ain't get nothing? I know that's how he feel right now. But I did get some stuff for you, but like life stuff, you know? Papa, do you have to use the bathroom? Yeah, girl. So I went to Trader Joe's, my bag busted because it was just filled with so much stuff. I got a lot of stuff. So, I literally, you you guys know how I feel about these plant, plantain crisp. 
I love these so much. I got three bags of them. I got some sliced like white sourdough bread, BLTs, bacon, egg and cheeses, sausage, egg and cheeses, tuna sandwiches, tuna melts, grilled cheeses. Ooh, I'm such a sandwich girl. I got the mandarin orange chicken. It was like on sale too. It was only four or something. Um, I got the coconut cashews that I absolutely adore. I got mochi. I got green tea mochi. Oh my god, I love mochi. I got this sparkling watermelon juice. I'm a sucker for beverages. I feel like I've told you guys this, how I feel about beverages, just different beverages throughout the day. I got these lemon bars. I, I like tangy stuff too. Lemon bars. I know I'm jumping all over the place, but I'm literally just going through the bags. Oh my god, I can't wait to try these. Um, I got some blueberries to put on top of my oatmeal in the morning. Turkey jerky. This jerky. I should have got two packs, but I can finish this in like five minutes. And I get the teriyaki flavor. They have regular, but the teriyaki is busted, busted, okay? It's slightly sweet. It's so good. Oh, here comes another plant and chip bag. I got the spinach artichoke dip from Trader Joe's. I love this so much. Something else that I saw was this vegan bolognese style pasta sauce. Yum. I love bolognese and um, it has meatless plant-based crumbles in it. That sounds so good. Like literally, what? So I got some pasta. Porcini. I feel like it's porcini, mushroom, and truffle ravioli. Um, I've got another beverage here. Sparkling coconut water with yuzu. So I saw there was like a cute, really cute section, and I really wish I could vlog in there, but there was a cute section where it was like Instagram favorites or something, or yeah, like Trader Joe's Instagram favorites. And I was like, that sounds amazing. Sparkling coconut water with yuzu. Another thing that was in that section was these um, ube tea cookies. And honestly, I thought at first that it was like bubble tea, like the boba, but like, I don't know, something to snack on, but I don't know. It says, each of our sweet and crumbly ube tea cookies is made from all butter shortbreads that's been mixed with slightly savory ube, the popular purple tuber from the Philippines. Wow. I didn't even read all that. I just saw them and I was like, this looks like something I'll like, and I grabbed them. That was in the Instagram section, and then so was this Trader Joe's ranch seasoning. I like the mixed seasonings from Trader Joe's, like they're a little spin on stuff. I used to be like a blue cheese only kind of girl, and then I, I don't know, like I just feel like I just grew up and I realized that ranch really is the better option. So now I'm a ranch girl. Oh, something else that I cool. I went to go grab like a regular lemonade and then I saw that they have spicy mango lemonade. I told y'all I'm a beverages girl. Look at how freaking cute and yummy this looks. But this is beef birria. So you know birria tacos are like the, you know, popular taco now. I, I'm obsessed with birria tacos. So I thought this was really cool. You can eat it as a stew or you can make tacos. I will be making tacos with this and letting you know how it tastes. Some matcha. I've been wanting to make matcha drinks at home because I normally go to Starbucks and get them, but I'm like, I feel like I could make a good matcha now. So we're gonna give this a go. Coconut flakes, also gonna be great on my oatmeal. I got the spiced chai black tea concentrate. Y'all know how I feel about this. Got two mangoes. Another item that was in the Instagram favorite section was this mango tangerine scented candle. You guys know how I feel about candles. Oh, it smells so good. It smells very fragrant for the size of it and it's only a one, one wick candle. Oh, I just got organic basil. I thought I put this back, but I guess I didn't. And the last thing that I got Trader Joe's is always gonna get me for at least one bottle of wine. I don't know. I just like the way they have it set up. It's right near the register. You do all your other shopping. You're like, okay, I think I got everything. And then you're about to check out and then you see the wines and the liquors and the sparkling beverages just all sitting there looking so pretty. And you're like, hmm, 
I need one of those. I saw this, the bottle drew me in. It's a rose. You know, it's summer, it's about to be summertime, and rose is the wine of the summer, so. She's so pretty, like, mm, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous girls drink rose. Oh, no, that wasn't the last thing. The last, last thing was these almond butter almonds. So they're almonds covered in almond butter. That's everything that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm about to put it away. Yeah, so I'm supposed to go to the gym. It's Monday. I If I go today, then my days this week will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Child, I'm supposed to go, but I also feel really tired. So, I don't know. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna put away all my groceries and then probably take a nap. And then maybe I'll go a little bit later, like for like a late workout sesh. Cause normally I'm a morning girl, but I didn't go this morning cause I woke up hella hungover as you guys saw. I didn't take a, I took a nap now. I took a nap. I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm so tired. Bye. dryer going in the back but yeah so i did go to the gym last night it was my first time going to the gym um in the nighttime so i ended up going because i knew that i needed to today to be like a work day i don't know why i put it in quotations like today is definitely a work day i have two videos to edit i have some emailing to do and honestly if i get all of that done and it's still early i could take photos for this brand collaboration that i have going on that I'm really excited about, excuse me. But yeah, I just had to make myself a little chai. I've really been focusing on being more productive these past couple of weeks, and I feel like I've been able to really knock out some bad habits that I've had where I just procrastinate a lot. I wanna be like someone that is always meeting deadlines and is getting shit done and i'm oh and i never like miss deadlines i'm not someone who's late on deadlines but i do kind of like work up until the last minute and i don't want to be like that anymore so there's just certain things that i've been implementing to help me be more productive throughout my days so that i'm taking full advantage of the entire day one of those things was starting to wake up earlier literally like i had like a good month and a half no really i had like a good two month stretch of waking up every single day and leave literally like at seven or like a little bit before seven this morning i did wake up at like 6 45 i turned myself kind of into a morning person i think my drink my drink that i have to look forward to every single morning definitely helps but also making lists. I literally like, I'm a list girl. I love lists. It just, I need to physically see it on a piece of paper and cross it off. Like I need, I literally need to write it down and then cross it out. Cause I'm like, okay, that's something else that I got done. Like you're doing good, like keep going, cross off another thing. I do have a um, list in my phone and I'll, put it in the remind not the reminders what is this the reminders app yeah this is the reminders app i have some list here and i swear it sounds so simple but it just 
it helps me like it literally helps me see what I'm doing throughout my day and throughout my week girl I'm crossing things up Cheryl and that's all that really matters it makes me feel really good to know that I'm like being productive and I'm sticking to things and then the third thing that I've been helping that's been helping me with um, productivity and being productive and meeting deadlines is uh, routine so I try to do the same thing almost every single day. There are certain things that vary, like I'll have things to do on a certain day that I wouldn't do every day. Like yesterday was a running errands kind of day. But when I say routine, I mean like waking up at the same time every day, eating around the same hours of the day every day, going to the gym the same days of the week, every week throughout the month. Things like that really help me, let me slow down. I feel like I benefit and I thrive off of structure and routine. That's why I was like really adamant about the gym and going yesterday because I knew that this week it would be better for me to go Monday, Wednesday, Friday as opposed to Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday like I did last week. That was a bit hectic for me, honestly. Those are the things that have helped me be more productive. I've been really on my A game these past couple of weeks. I want to say like this past month. May has been a great month for me. So that's why it's like really important for me to just fully take advantage of every single day and do something that's going to better me and help me and push me forward in life. Yeah, I just want to give you guys that update. Um, but I'm going to be chilling on my computer doing my little work because uh, your girl got work to do. I'll see you guys later. Good morning, vlog it Ooh, Happy Wednesday! Benson! Look at him! Benson! Hi, Benson! Hi, Papa! Hi! He's, he doesn't like to see me go to anywhere, literally anywhere. But he knows when I'm getting ready for the gym because I do the same routine. Like, I close my bedroom door and the bathroom door. I put my sneakers on and I grab my gym bag. And chow, he starts having a fit, chow. Look at him. Benson, stop. Stop. Sit. Good boy. So, yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. It is 7. 7.44. I literally only have an hour. Today is going to be a busy day for me. I have a skims collab that i need to shoot um photos for so i'm going to be doing like a little photo shoot for skims i need to take benson to the vet at 2 30 he has a little vet appointment and then at 6 p.m i have an event today um on the beach it's going to be like yoga on the beach which is going to be really cute but i am going to the gym right now because i really need to get my morning workout in it is wednesday as you guys know yesterday was my rest day I have on, look at all his toys in the back i have on my little two-piece blue set so yeah and my yeezys and that chin look at him he scratches my legs up oh my god I'm about to head to the gym you guys i did my hair and makeup i took my photos for my collab i missed benton's vet appointment so i just um change it to tomorrow morning so i'm gonna take him in the morning it's gonna be the first thing i do at 8 30 bright and early get out the way and that works better for me because I don't have anything else tomorrow to do other than edit, so that's fine. But yeah, I'm headed to the event now. I'm. It said it's going to take 20 minutes, which means I'm going to arrive at 6.30. It's 6.01, which is perfect because it starts at 6.30. I have to pee, though, and I should have peed before I left, but I was, like, kind of running late, so... just got to the event I got my yoga mat and my sweater over there on the beach
That was so good, you guys. Literally so calming. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And it actually warmed me up because, you know, it's a little chilly. See the weather. It's not necessarily the best, but that was really cute. Cheers. Good morning, vloggy vlog. I've got my whiny pup in the back. He's Benson. Uh, he hates sitting in the back. He wants to sit on my lap, but I can't drive with him sitting in my lap, especially when I'm on the highway and I had to drive on the highway to get here. But happy Thursday. Is it Thursday? It's Thursday. Oh my gosh, this week is flying by. Happy Thursday, vloggy vlog. Benson, please. Uh, hush. Child, we just got to the vet. His little butt about to go inside. It's the tail wagging. Okay, I'm about to take you out right now. Child, I can't even, he not even gonna let me talk, so. Yeah, let's just go inside, but good morning. The last time you guys saw me, I was at the event yesterday. That was so cute. I met so many cool influencers, and we got to sit and talk, and it was really nice, and it was on the beach. Even though the weather wasn't the greatest, the setup was beautiful. The yoga was really nice, um, and I thoroughly enjoyed myself, so that was really cool. And now I'm at the vet. I just left my baby. I gotta come pick him up in like an hour or two. What am I gonna do? Uh, no, I'll be fine. My poor baby. He's okay though, but he's just getting, he might, I think he's getting his remainder of the shots that he needs. I think he needs like one more shot. I just dropped him off. He said bye to me. He's such a sweetheart. What am I gonna do in the meantime? Okay, so I dropped off Benson. It's been probably like 40 minutes. I was kind of just sitting in the car talking on the phone. But now I just pulled up to this bagel place that I found on Google Maps. So I want to get breakfast. My stomach is growling. I'm going to get a little bagel. I don't know. It's, it low-key looks like it might be like a New York-esque kind of spot. So let's go check it out, girl. It's really beautiful out. Like, honestly, what a gorgeous day. called bagel and slice there's this pesto sauce but I told them to put it on the side Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. Okay. Okay, you guys. I look a little crazy, but let's. I'm making the beef bedia that I bought from Trader Joe's. One, I just want to say on its own, it tastes so freaking good. So I dumped it into a dish like a pyrex dish and i put it in the oven for like 15 minutes on 350 and just heated it up and now i'm making i know the pan looks crazy but i'm making i think they're called the technical term if i'm saying this correctly is vampiro a vampiro taco which is cheese and the bedia beef stew and i'm watching the kardashians in the back um, and I'm just I have the wrong cheese though. I will say I think it's supposed to be like mozzarella or it's supposed to be a white cheese But I only have sharp cheddar, so I'm putting the beef media stew In the pan and then I'm taking a flour tortilla and these are the sweet Hawaiian flour tortillas And then I'm kind of like zhuzhing it around and then flipping it over so that both sides can get coated like that and then I'm gonna take some cheese and ooh, I'm gonna sprinkle that in the center and this cheese melts pretty easily which is good and then I'm gonna let that melt a little bit and then I put the beef on top 
and then flip it over and the juices kind of like ooze out and then I'm gonna grill both sides and then it ends up looking like that basically. I mean, I already tried the beef like on its own so I feel like it tastes really good in a taco obviously. Messy, yes, but delicious, oh my god. Like this is so freaking good. Close it up. Yeah. I'm gonna finish and then we're gonna eat them together because I don't know what it tastes like. Okay, so this is how the tacos came out. They look so good. Oh my God. And then I'm pairing it with this spicy mango lemonade that I got. This stuff is really spicy, like really, really spicy. So if you like spicy lemonade, if you like spicy margaritas, I feel like if you combine this with tequila, it would be bomb. And then if you do like a little tahini rim. Yeah, so let's try this. Should I try the first one I made or the last one? The first one, let's just try the first one. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> and I didn't even do anything. It's not even like I made the media. That is really good media. That's really good media. But that is so good. Or maybe it's white cheddar. This is so good. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Hello, beautiful. Happy Friday. I've literally just come back from the gym, but then I ran some errands afterwards. So it's like two o'clock now. I left for the gym. At like 9 30 and i spent two hours there then i stopped and i got a salad and then i stopped in sephora and then i stopped at ralph's and then i had amazon packages to pick up and benson was acting like the most annoying little baby when i just got home so that's why i'm holding him because he's just comfortable like he literally just wants me to hold him um i just i know i needed to pick up some re-ups but then i also wanted to try some new stuff and the foundation I wanted to get, they were sold out of, but I've already had it and it's nothing like new. It was the NARS Radiant Creamy Foundation, Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Valencia. So I had to get a sample. I got another hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. I absolutely love hyaluronic acid, great serum um, to put on before you do your makeup, but also just in your skincare period. I got another milk makeup grip hydro grip set and refresh a setting spray i love this setting spray this setting spray is so good it sets your makeup but it also gives you a really nice dewy glow and we're going into summer and you guys know my skin is dry so this is like right up my alley like this just does something to my makeup and then i've been trying to get this lip liner literally for like since it came out like i remember the day that this came out the anastasia beverly hills lip liner in cool brown apparently this is supposed to be a cute dupe i mean it's not a dupe because it's the same price point as cork from mac and you guys know how i feel about cork like i literally that's the only lip liner i wear but this was getting rave reviews so i wanted to try it and then the last thing i got was a cream blush from a rare beauty this is a new shade it's the soft pink soft pinch blush in the shade joy and it's a really pretty orange corally color i like orange coral peaches for blush on my skin tone i have a warm undertone it's everything that i got from sephora so I bought this professional, it says professional pet hair clipper set. And I feel like I could do this. I could do this. I'm so talented, you guys. I could do this. This is gonna be easy. I just gotta give him enough treats where he sits still long enough, but a candle wick trimmer. So that's what this is. And then this is like to put out the flame, which I thought was cute too. This set was less than $10. I don't know what this one is for, but I'm gonna look it up. So, aww. I, every time I go shopping on Amazon now, I always get something for Benson. I try to, because I just feel like 
he should have more stuff too and i thought this was really cute this is definitely going to get a lot of use this is a little water bottle that he can drink out of <laughs> oh my god so yeah you fill the water up in here obviously there's a little wristlet and close it up and it's spill proof um and then i guess you just press this button and it drains the water in here so then it's like a little bowl so i think i and then if you pour out too much you can actually drain it back into the bottle glasses came so i don't know if i showed the vlog i honestly don't remember so i'm just gonna quickly show you again but i got these martini glasses from amazon it was a set of two and they're pink they're from this uh dragon slash barbie collection so one's a lighter pink and one's a darker pink and these are martini glasses i'm gonna perfect my lemon drop recipe and i'm gonna make lemon drops in these and they're gonna look so cute because look at just how adorable they are and they were sold out at first but then they came back in stock <gasps> and the wine glasses came i had to wait a little bit longer they didn't they didn't come prime ah they're so pretty and they're huge ah i'm so excited <laughs> yes so now i have the two wines and clink these are so cute they're huge that's everything that i got from amazon i am an amazon affiliate and i have my own storefront so you can shop my storefront i'll have it on the screen but i also have it linked down below in the description box for you guys everything that i purchased that i fall in love with that i feel like is a necessity a must-have that i talk about in my vlogs will all be on my amazon storefront so you can definitely go and check that out and we hit 130,000 subscribers for to try this growing. I'm about to take a shower and edit a video. I might go out later. It's still up in the air. It's very early. It's only 2 o'clock. So I'll check with you guys later. Girl, I ain't never asked me shit, girl. Don't call me sis because I'm not your sister. Morning, vlog. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm actually driving right now. I'm headed to the airport. I got my son with me. Don't judge me, y'all. I'm gonna order him a little car seat. I just know he's not gonna stay in it, so I don't really see what the point is in spending money on that right now because he gonna do his absolute best to get out of anything. I'm gonna go. But I'm headed to the airport right now to pick up Mona. I really need to get my car mount fixed so that I can drive and vlog because I'm sad that I can't. Party. This little boy got so excited he gonna squirt a little pee. He <laughs> squirt a little pee. He's so it. aggravating. Let's get to do I just ordered a frozen lemonade with it's non-alcoholic so i ordered a frozen lemonade and i got a shot of mango no passion fruit syrup and then a shot of hennessy this looks crazy thank you that's so good. that looks really good cheers me and benson are playing right now look at him he's being so funny right now <laughs> Good boy! Good boy! Yeah, it's the last day of the weekly vlog. I literally spent the morning finishing up work and cleaning, and I just finished cleaning. My whole apartment is clean. I vacuumed and I swiffered. Sit. Good boy. This pup. It's getting so big. Look at my baby. Hi, baby. Hi, Papa. It'd be his tail. 
just moving on its own for me. He had a groomer's appointment and they canceled it. My baby looks like a little beast. Okay, so I'm going to a party today, tonight, later tonight, um, for Memorial Day. Tomorrow's Memorial Day, but you know, people are partying all weekend. I was supposed to go out last night and I actually fell asleep, so yeah. Um, but that's okay, like, there's more times to go out. So I feel like I go out pretty often, probably like every weekend. Um, I'm a certified party girl, hot girl. <laughs> You guys, I showered, I'm fresh faced. I'm actually about to do my skincare and get ready. Um, I'm going out, I'm supposed to leave in like an hour. Okay, so that was the NARS Radiant Creamy Radiant Foundation Natural Radiant Longer, whatever it's called, in the shade Valencia. And that was way too light. My body is so tan. Ugh. Okay, wait. Wow, I must be really tan because Valencia was darker. I used to be like. Syracuse or something, whichever one is lighter. And I picked out Valencia thinking that it would be dark enough and it was not, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, this is better. But yeah, I literally have like 15 minutes to get ready. I don't know why I always end up having no time. It's gonna be giving bronzy. And I got a new, I'm so excited to use this. <laughs> Beverly Hills lip pencil is really pretty. Honestly, it looks just like Cork to me. I don't really see the difference. Um, this is my completed makeup in here. I didn't do any highlight. I'm going for like a matte look because I have the winged liner. Makeup in here. I'm about to get dressed. I don't really know. Child, they didn't call the Uber and I'm not even ready, but I think this is what I'm wearing. I don't know. So I can't figure out what I want to wear. But I'm gonna mix these two fragrances. It's giving a lot of booby. It's giving a lot of booby. Yeah, I'm wearing my, can you see my pleasers? I gotta go. I literally have to go. I'm gonna vlog when I get there.